Hi everyone, I'm Angela from RVs of America or ROA Off-Road as we're also known. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my adventure to Colorado. So we just got back from Colorado about two weeks ago. We actually got to stay at a really incredible ranch. It was a private ranch. And uh, we uh, got to park all of our rigs in this little valley that was surrounded by beautiful mountains. So that's where we basically camped for our entire time, except for when we all got together and we uh, had to meet up at Ridgeway State Park, which is a, was a beautiful park as well. But uh, the ultimate destination was going to this beautiful ranch where we got to uh, stay for our entire trip. I would say was the Via Ferrata. I really enjoyed that. The Via Ferrata, if you've never heard of it or have never looked it up, uh, we went to Gold Mountain in Ure, Colorado for our Via Ferrata experience. And basically, you're climbing up the face of a mountain. Uh, but what makes it really uh, possible and capable, well, for me at least, was that they put uh, metal rungs in the mountainside. So you use those to help you climb up for your feet and for your hand placement. Um, and once you kind of get to certain points, you're looking behind you and looking at the valley that you know, you've been climbing up from the foot of. And it was amazing. I, I was like, okay, can I do this? Because I'm not really afraid of heights, but this was the face of the mountain that we were climbing up and it was pretty, um, pretty intense. Though I have to say, <laughs> one of our roamers brought a family member um, and her name was Vilma and she was 74 years old and she did this and I was like, well, if Vilma can do it, I can do it too. But it was really, it was really terrific. This the view from the Via Ferrata was fabulous. And we were helping each other. We were supporting each other, uh, you know, giving each other, you know, uh, a big hurrah, like, you can do this, you can keep going. And so it was really fun, I love that. <laughs> all right, so this was my first experience towing a trailer all by myself. Usually I'll bring my husband, and uh, he couldn't make it on this adventure, which was kind of a bummer. I mean, he came later on, but he couldn't travel with me to Colorado. So I had to learn how to pull a trailer and I did it with the Dweller 13. And the Dweller 13 is a little bit smaller than uh, the other Dwellers that we have. We have a Dweller 19 and then we have other rigs as well. We have other uh, trailers on the lot, but I decided I wanted to take the Dweller 13 and I'm really glad that I did. Uh, it was comfortable. It really is set up nicely for a couple to uh, enjoy um, their space. I'm sitting in it right now and uh, the bed can't get, can't say enough about the bed. It's considered a king size bed. I have to say, I loved the space of the bed. It was very comfortable. When my husband did arrive, he's 6'4", and so we had plenty of room, and it was comfortable, and I loved the bed. Even the mattress itself. I didn't put a topper on this mattress. It was a comfortable mattress for us, and we really um, enjoyed that about the Dweller 13. I uh, I was a little nervous at first because I thought, how am I going to do this by myself? But uh, one of our videographers and and I we traveled together, and um, I have to say, my team, the team, my team members here at ROA, they really do their best to get everything ready for us, just like they do any of our roamers who purchase a, a camper from us they get it ready and set up so that I can easily just hook up and pull on out. And one thing that was attached to this Dweller 13 that I took was a McHitch. 
And let me tell you, that was amazing. It was so easy to be able to hook up. I did have a small camera, a backup camera in the truck that I took and it wasn't, I did it all by myself. I did it all by myself, which I was surprised that I would be able to do it. But um, I was able to hook up and, you know, get everything set up so I could pull out nice and smooth. And the Jolly 13 traveled really well on the road. I didn't have any issues with it swaying. Um, my tires were all uh, up to par with, you know, where they needed to be on their PSI. and. Uh, the trailer was, I, I rarely noticed it back there. It was very comfortable pulling and I didn't have any issues. In fact, I'd look behind me every once in a while making sure the trailer was still there. And it was, <laughs> but it was, it was comfortable pulling. And since it was my first time, I'm just so grateful it went as smoothly as it did. I personally didn't pull the Dwelly 13 to off-road, though I did pull um, the Conqueror. Uh, so our videographer, he pulled the Conqueror on our Colorado adventure. And because he was videotaping, I was in the truck with him and we'd swap places and I'd drive. And uh, so I took the Conqueror off-roading with his truck and it was, Terrific. I mean, the Conqueror is a fabulous trailer as well, so we did okay. So if I did any upgrades with the Dweller 13, um, I think I might put a sink in the Dweller 13. Just because I know we've got the bathroom and you've got the sink in the bathroom and this bathroom is really fantastic. I mean, it's all encompassed. You've got the toilet, the sink, the shower all together. So um, I, I liked it. It was great. Uh, I didn't have to worry about, you know, getting the floor wet or anything like that because it's all one. Um, but I would like to put a sink like probably right here just so that I could cut up some food, you know, if I'm I'm preparing food and I want to do it inside, I can do that and have a sink to, you know, rinse things off. Uh, this has the Dweller 13, uh, the kitchen is outside, and um, I really liked, you know, preparing my food on the outside uh, kitchen. I actually like the refrigerator. It's fantastic. It opens from both sides when you're getting inside of it. The frozen food stayed frozen and my refrigerator food stayed well. We were off grid for six days. The first day we did arrive and we hooked up at the uh, state park with all of our, you know, electrical and everything that we needed. But after that, we were off grid for at least five days. <laughs> I'll say that much. And I didn't have any problems. I was off grid no electricity. I was totally pulling from the solar panels and my refri refrigerator and freezer worked perfectly. Um, <clears throat> I was able to use the inverter to use a microwave. I did bring a microwave because <laughs> sometimes I, I prepare a lot of my meals beforehand and sometimes I freeze them and I just want to warm them up in the microwave. So I was able to do that. I mean, it doesn't last for a long time. Uh, the power for a microwave, but I could use it shortly. Since we were in Colorado, it was cooler. We were in higher elevation. I really didn't need to use uh, my uh, air conditioner, but I did use the heater and it worked fabulous. So I really like that. One thing that you have to do with the Dweller 13 is you have to open up the back of the, the camper to open up your bed, to lay it out. And um, I'm not very tall, <laughs> but I brought a stool with me and by myself, I was able to open up the camper in the back so that I could lay out the bed. And it was really quite simple. Uh, this has a pop-up. And so um, that's an easy way to, you know, raised the ceiling and I did it by myself as well. I didn't have any help. I really wanted to try this out on my own to see if one person by themselves can easily 
use this camper and I did. It was, it was great. Being able to do it all by myself um, made me recognize that, you know, one person can travel on their own and do this and yeah, since it was my first time, I feel really good about it. I'm glad that I had the chance to try this out. There is a lot of um, space inside, a lot of compartments for, you know, your storage. Um, <clears throat> I like in, in here where you have the accordion doors and it goes really deep in there. Uh, down below, um, I probably would put a trash. I might change this out a little bit and make it a trash disposal or place for my trash. And then I would like a sink. Like I said earlier, one of the things I would add to the inside of this is maybe a sink. But I have to say that the compartments in here Good storage, really good storage. So in the Dweller 13 bathroom for a five day trip, for a five day yes. trip I have to say that the cassette toilet was so ideal. I know I've talked about the Explorer uh, and how we had the um, the toilet in there that you twi it twists and and sucks up all of the waste you know for, and so you don't have a black tank this also does not have a black tank which i love i don't want to deal with that so it has what is called a cassette toilet and uh, when you're using the toilet uh, it drains into a cassette that you can actually when when you're done with your trip or if during the trip you're you're let's say you're on a camping trip for two weeks well, when that cassette fills up, all you have to do is open up the side of the, the camper and you pull out a cassette and you can take it, like you can put it in your truck, in the bed of your truck, and drive it to a waste station and empty it there. You don't have to take the entire camper with you to a waste station and try and maneuver it and try and get it into the right area so that you can uh, do your black waste dump. Uh, the cassette is simple. It's easy. It is so ideal. <laughs> and it's a lot, I felt like it was a lot cleaner. I mean, I put on gloves. Uh, it was easy to open up and then it was easy to dump. I didn't feel like, you know, I was getting junk all over me. I, it was easy and clean. And so I really love the cassette toilet of the Dweller 13. Very nice. And I have to say the shower is really great too. I love that uh, if you go inside, you can raise the shower head really high up. So the roof I think is for somebody who, like my husband's 6'4", and his, he's still got space above his head when we're in the camper here. So I love the height of the ceilings when you pop it up. So I have to say if you're ever interested in um, coming with us on adventures and you'd like to know more about the Dweller 13 or the other campers that we offer, just contact us. Um, our number will be below and um, we'd love to have you join us. It's fantastic. It's so much fun to be a roamer and to be able to participate in these adventures with us and be a part of our community. So. I'm signing off. This is Angela with RVs of America and keep on rolling.